Potter, and welcome back for another week of How to AMP. Sometimes, we want to include content in a page that comes from a third-party source. And the source might need its own JavaScript for that content to work. Across the web, this is done by embedding an iframe. Except, you know, this is AMP, so we're going to do it slightly different. For today's project, I have a page from my totally real hiking blog. The post outlines a hike in the city I call home, San Francisco. But this is just a list. And that's confusing for visitors who have never been here before. Since, you know, they haven't seen any of these things yet. And I want to help my readers by adding something visual, like a map. So that's what we're going to do today. Add an iframe into my page that shows a map of this hike. I've already created the route in Google Maps. I'll just click Copy HTML and then paste this iframe into the AMP Playground. Of course, it's complaining. Let's take a look. It says the tag iframe may only appear as a descendant of the tag no script. Well, that's OK. I'm just placing it here temporarily until I can make it AMP valid. Next thing I'm going to do is import the AMP iframe script into the head of my document. I'll then start the process of transforming this iframe into an AMP iframe. And that starts with adding AMP in front of the opening and closing iframe tags. And the validator has stopped complaining, but it still isn't rendering my map. Let's take a glance at the documentation. The first thing it says is that AMP iframe cannot appear close to the top of the document, and I'm not violating that rule yet. The second one says the AMP iframe is sandboxed. Let's read more on what that's about. It says AMP iframe always has the sandbox attribute defined on it. And the sandbox attribute blocks script execution, which is probably why nothing is showing up. To fix this, I can define the sandbox attribute with a value of allow scripts. I'll try that and see if it helps. Ah, awesome. But it still looks a little funny, probably because I haven't defined the layout attribute. And I want this to fit within the width of all of my user screens so I'll just set the layout to responsive. Excellent. But I think the order of my content is a little off. I'd like to show my readers the route before I describe it, so I'll move the iframe above my content div. And it's disappeared again. I think this goes back to the first bullet on the documentation. An AMP iframe may not appear close to the top of the document, except for iframes that use a placeholder. I love loopholes, and this loophole exists because using a placeholder will increase the user's perceived performance. But that leads us into another question. What do I mean by placeholder? A placeholder is what we show the user while more resource-heavy elements are being downloaded. A placeholder can be pretty much anything. So for now, I'll just add some text. I'll place the p tag between the AMP iframe tags, then tack on the placeholder attribute. There it is. And well, that's it today. 